M18 the Hellcat is one of the most popular vehicles in War Thunder. Sometimes you can see half of a team playing this tank destroyer, despite the fact that since release, battle rating in realistic increased by 2 steps. Why players still prefer M18 over everything else? USA Tank Tree has two Hellcats, one of them being premium and another in general tech tree. Both have identical characteristics, the only difference is muzzle break affecting how smoke spread after shot. So let's quickly recap those characteristics before revealing how gameplay differs from usual tanks and how Hellcat behaves in different game modes. There are four shell types. APHE, probably the most used shell in both game modes. Not much penetration but explosive filler makes it the most deadly. AP, more penetration with less damage. APCR, even more penetration with super small damage. And smoke shell to hide your penetration behind enemy lines. And all these shells can be shot with a little 6.1 second delay. Guns elevation of 20 degrees, depression minus 10 degrees, and a turret that can traverse up to 28 degrees per second is everything you need to kill enemies above, below, behind, or inside you. Just wait until that hull wobbling stops. Armor is what will cause trouble to you and will not cause any trouble to enemies' heavy machine guns. 25mm of armor in gun mantled. 12mm almost everywhere else and zero armor on turret's roof. Being shot through doesn't always mean defeat. Enemies' APHE shells fuses usually do not activate and a team of 5 crew members will keep your vehicle functionable with more than half of them dead. Speed is what will bring you victories. Over 50 km per hour forward and 23 backwards. Low weight lets you accelerate to these values quickly. And Hellcat's gameplay is based on its speed. A heavy machine gun will help you to deal with lightly armored vehicles and aircraft. If you cannot shoot machine gun, blame commander who does not hide in sight. Smaller shrapnel from nearby explosions or small caliber machine gun fire will often leave you without this crew member. In arcade, your battle rating is 4.7 and your main focus will be on delivering that APHE shell quickly to any place of the map where teammates need additional firepower and waiting. One of the arcade's feature is that we have a very good idea of enemy's position. So flanking the whole team from their respawn side is usually impossible. Additionally, there is a constant flow of respawning tanks that will pose threat to your flank. So what do you do with a very fast and lightly armored vehicle if both teams knows each other's positions? I know how you might want to quickly rush into battle with your lightning speed and be the first to get to capture point and get a good shooting position, but patience pays off. Let both teams engage. And this is when you get the information about the battlefield. I was looking at minimap more than ever. And now is the time to use that speed and shine. Quickly approach a busy enemy tank, kill it. Don't stay in that position. Quickly find another target, kill it. If someone is trying to catch you, you will most likely see it on a minimap. Aim where enemy is going to appear from in advance. That will give you a first shot, kill it. If there is someone else nearby, you know what to do. Now get the hell out of here behind the backs of more armored tanks. Your allies will advance forward, new frontline will form and you can plan a new breakthrough. M18 is so fast that you can quickly pass short open areas and players will not even have enough time to react and aim at your position. Stay away from crowded places. There will be too many tanks in one location and situation will not allow you to approach enemy sites safely. Use smoke shells if you need to mask your approach. Main advice. Let your team engage first and get out when enemy's attention switches to you.
In realistic, it's a whole different story. The first thing you'll notice is that battle rating raised to 5.3. That means that you'll more often encounter stronger enemies. So stronger that you might have problems with your APHG rounds. But now you can take the full advantage of your small size and mobility. Once battle starts, I'm trying to take hidden positions slightly further than capture point where I could have a good overview of incoming enemies. And then just wait for slower enemies who are heading towards objective and not expecting anyone that close. This will not only get them by surprise, but will also delay or prevent them from capturing objective, leaving them without respawns. Don't stay in one place for too long after opening fire. You have advantage when enemies are not expecting you. Remember the increased battle rating? You will have a very big difficulties with heavy tanks when your location is known. Of course, you could switch to shells with higher penetration, but after penetration effects are discouraging. Disengage if you see that heavies are heading to you. You will get them next time on your conditions. You can also use speed offensively when engaging single slow enemy and just driving around them faster than they can turn. You only need to make one hit with APHE shell to cripple opponent. Be careful when capturing points in this game mode. Yes, you can reach objective fast and capturing is how you win the game, but once you step on the circle you will attract attention of all enemy planes. And considering your armor and open top, that can and will be a problem. Main advice, stay behind enemy lines, part of your foes will go for objectives, part will try to catch you, but their team forces will be split and chaotic. Hellcat is probably the only vehicle at this battle rating offering APHE shell together with extreme mobility and small size. That makes it number one vehicle for players who like to dive into a quick, deadly encounters time and time again, greatly reshaping the battlefield and bringing you closer to victory.